Hello crafters, welcome to G's Creations. Today we're going to be making a wreath. Now this wreath is kind of a child's room wreath, but I guess it could be quite civilised enough to have it as the main wreath. This is another one of my uh, children's room decor videos. I'm going to use this pre-made wreath that I got in the sale from um, Ikea. I used um, one of these wreaths on a video over on Elf Creations. I will link that video at the end. Uh, I'm going to be using, I'll take that off at the end. I'm going to be using this um, butterfly net which I got from Poundland, so that was a pound. I'm going to be using these florals which are also from the Poundland. Um, these come as a two head. These white ones come as a two head. I've just um, dissected them before I started and then obviously these are, are single but they come on longer stems um, so I've got those I've also got these um, butterflies and I got these from my distributor now these butterflies come flat like this as you can see and they have a metal uh, uh, a magnetic bit at the back so you can use them as um, on your fridge or whatever they, I mean it, they, they can be used in so many different ways on cards the, the kind of uses for these are endless but I got this pack from my distributor and what I've done before I before I came down here to the dining room what I've done is I've hot glued them onto some um, clothes pegs because I want to be able to reuse this uh, reform if necessary so I've got those and the way that I'm going to attach everything is by using um, zip ties, cable ties. I've got my cable ties ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a cluster of um, flowers down this side. And then the butterflies will be interspersed and then it's going to look like the... Uh, I'm going to have it so the... Uh, the um, butterfly net is, is like it's getting trying to grab hold of the butterflies. I'm just going to attach these floral sprays onto the frame using cable ties. So I'm just going to attach this one here. You'll obviously need a pair of scissors as well. Um, but I've just attached it onto the uh, frame itself. Bending in the, the stems of these picks so they get interwoven into the foliage. Cut off all these excess length of the cable tie. Again, because they're all on wire, they can be um, manipulated. Now with this um, net, I'm going to attach it onto the wreath, again using the, uh, the cable ties. Mix it in with the foliage and attach it on one of the. Uh, oh, I'm going to attach it on the outer ring. Okay. And I'm going to tuck it behind some of these flowers. I need to put it on the on the inner ring, not the outer ring, because this uh, wreath is um, it, it's convex, so it makes it bulge out. So I'm going to attach it to the the inner ring, not the outer. I'm 
I can put a cable tie through the netting. And I can literally just clip these butterflies onto the foliage. So this would be ideal for a little girl's room. I have some on the on the netting. Oh, that one came off. Obviously that was my first one where the hot glue wasn't hot enough. I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and get some more done. I'm going to go and hot glue some more of these onto some larger um, clothes pegs, and I'll be right back. Okay, crafters, I'm back with more butterflies. So, like I said, I'm literally just going to attach these um, throughout the wreath. I'm going to call that done and I really like the way that turned out oh my flower head has come off let's pop you back in there we go I think that looks really cute I love the way that turned out thank you very much for joining me today crafters and I will see you again very soon take care now bye bye